Now the Tremor is now available in stores and I'll just go over a few of its key features, what I like about it, how I use it and how it all works. So let's get this one out of the box. So you got the lure, you've got instructions, got the charging cord and then the two other bibs as well as the wake bait bib that's already in the lure. So we'll go over the bibs first. First the lure comes with the wake bait bib in it. This is an awesome bib for all the northern impoundments and it's caught some cracking fish at Copeton. Just your standard wake bait style of lure. So you just pull that one out, it just clips in there and then you got the diving bib. It's just got a little locking mechanism inside it and if you just firmly push it in it will just clip in there and stay in there. Just make sure it's in there nice and firm and you won't lose your bib. And then the only one that's a little bit different is the crawling bib. See the lure's got this little clip on the front, you just simply clip that off and that's for the crawling bib. Because when you clip that on, it goes over the front eyelet there and then you can clip this onto your lure and you'll never ever lose your crawling bib. Swing that around like that and there you go. You can cast it all day and your crawling bib can't come off the lure. So I generally only use this clip with the crawling bib and then the other two bibs you can just tie on your favourite knots of the lure either a loop knot or a uni or whatever you want to tie. The crawling bib is an amazing bib for sound. It's got that real loud bloop bloop of a standard paddler, but you also throw in the added vibration of the vibrator and you can hear that lure from a whole cast distance away. The diving bib is probably my favourite bib out of the three and I've caught both Meter Plus Barramundi and Murray Cod on this bib. So unlike your normal swim bait that just gets snagged as soon as you hit structure, this will actually dive down head first, like your standard cod and barramundi hard body. And when you hit some weed or structure, you can just pause the lure and it'll simply float up backwards, clear it out of the weed or structure, and you can keep on fishing it. So if you do a really big cast and fish the lure quite quick, it'll get down to seven or eight foot on the cast. Whereas if you cast it out and fish it a bit slower, use its buoyancy to keep it up a bit, you can fish it over top of weed at three, four foot. And then if you troll it, a fair way out you can get it down to 15 foot. So it opens up a fair few options there with the diving bit. So now we'll go on to talk about the technology inside the lure. So the lure features Ballista's famous LED technology like all the other lures in the range and it's got the red flashing LED in the gills of the lure. So we've drastically reduced this inside the tremor because we found we're fishing the lure a lot at night and we didn't want it to be too unnatural. So even on the darkest of nights, you'll just see that the lure's got that really subtle red flash to it just to help attract the fish. So there's no issues with fishing this one in the middle of the night, which you so commonly do with big surface lures and swim baits. And then the next part about the lure is by far my favorite thing about the lure, that's the vibrating technology that is now inside the body of the lure. So this just adds a whole new dimension onto the lure and I believe it seems to imitate a small dying insect or even a small animal perfectly. The big predatory fish such as barramundi and murray cod just seem to come in on the sound of the lure, check it out and then smash it. So this is the first lure to have that in it and it gets about 40 hours of battery life. So after about 40 hours you might notice that, that the vibrator is starting to go a little bit flat. You simply just plug plug it in and put it on charge. So this is what the little charging cord is here for. You put the black one on the front hook hanger and the red one on the front eyelet. And then it's simply just got the USB plug on the end. You can plug that into your power bank, your car charger or your phone charger and start charging the lure up. You notice that a red light comes on in the lure when it's charging and then this will turn green when it's fully charged. So then you'll have about another 40 hours of fishing time with the lure before you'll have to charge it again. So there you have it, the new vibrating multi-function 200mm long Ballista Tremor. Available in a range of colours at your local tackle store now. So get in store and check them out, the Ballista Tremor.